Hello people of YouTube, I'm Habitat16 and this is Watchnet. On here I watch a movie and then I tell you guys what I thought about it. So this time around I watched the movie Dread. This is a movie from 2012 starring Carl Urban as uh, Judge Dread. This movie is uh, uh, about like a, um, a futuristic city where um, th uh, the uh, uh, I guess they're police officers, but uh, they have the authority of um, Judge, um, well, what are the three? Judge, Jury, Executioner. Got it. Yeah, the um, police have the authority of all three, and um, I guess Judge Dredd is the uh, most famous, like, most prolific of the police. He's the one that stays most true to the law. He is the law. <laughs> oh, if you've seen the old, the old one, Judge Judge Sylvester Stallone, I'm the law. Good movie too. Judge Dredd, uh, I guess kind of raids a building that is controlled by one woman. Kind of seems like uh, the Raid Redemption. But it's not the Raid of Redemption. There's uh, some drug called Slow Mo. I'll give you three guesses on what Slow Mo does. You give up? Slow Mo kind of. Uh, actually, I don't even know how to explain it well. You take the drug, and everything just goes really slow and beautiful, and yeah. So, my quick review of this movie I, I thought it was pretty awesome. I. Honestly, if someone asked me, I could not tell you if I like the old one or the new one more because I like both of them a lot uh, for like different reasons. I thought this was a pretty good film. Things about this movie that I liked. First and foremost, freaking Carl Urban. Holy shit, man. You're a pretty good actor. You should stay strong. I like you and everything you do. Hell, I really, I even, I even like you in the Chronicles of Reddick. And I've been hearing apparently and not many people like that movie. I don't know why. I was um... Not gonna lie, I was a little worried when I first heard this movie was coming out. Cause, like... Like, back in the day, Sylvester Stallone, like... Even when he was making ridiculous movies, he... Oh my god, he was so enjoyable. And uh... I was a little worried about... Someone else, like, trying to take up the mantle as um... Of Sylvester Stallone being Judge Dredd, but uh, Carl Urban, you did a pretty good job. You made the character your own, and uh, I even uh, I signed the petition to uh, make a Dread too. So that's my contribution to your career. You can thank me later. I like the action in this. It's really like, oh, it's awesome. I like it. Goes back to Carl Urban. What I like about Dread just. Call Urban. But on the uh, flip side of Judge Dredd, uh, Call Urban's Judge Dredd, uh, sorry if I say your name wrong, Lena Heedy? Heed Lena Heedy? I'm sorry. Mama got it going on. <laughs> Some of the stuff I say. Things about the movie that irked me. Um, it's been a little while since I've watched this movie. I watched it with a friend in theaters, and I remember the thing that him and I agreed upon was um, although the premise was cool about uh, the slow-mo drug and stuff it didn't like really grasp our attention connect with us the moments when it was slow-mo was like yeah it's cool but I don't know I feel like it took away from the awesomeness that is the amazingness that is the coolness of Judge Dredd that being said though like this old Sylvester slow movie and then now this movie is all I know about uh, Judge Dredd, if I remember correctly, there is like um, uh, comic books about Dredd, which I haven't read at all. So maybe this movie uh, is more in line with what the comic is. I don't know. But coming from a standpoint of someone who hasn't read these comics, um, I don't know. I just thought those moments with the slow mo were kind of dull. And I might have just been me at the time but my friend agreed when we watched this movie a lot of these shots looked really like out of focus 
And I don't know if that was done on purpose, but if it was, I I didn't understand why. But that's just me. Maybe there's, there's something beyond what I'm seeing, but I, uh, I don't know. It, it looked weird to me. Like It looked like a lot of the shots were out of focus. And uh, that took me out of the movie a little bit. So on IMDb, this movie has a rating of 7. I'm going to go ahead and give it a rating of 9. Because uh, aside from the shots that I thought were like out of focus. And some of the slow-mo like, being like, eh, to me. Overall, this movie was pretty awesome. I'm a huge fan of action. I, I love it. It gets me going. I walk out of the movie, I'm like, you know what? I gotta be the next big thing. I'm gonna be the next Jean-Claude Van Damme. Except I can only, like, spread my uh, legs at, like, a 28-degree angle. So, that's the end of uh, this review. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.